Hi nail lovers, welcome back. So I've got a simple design set to show you today, but I've kept in as requested my full prep. So first off, I've sanitized my client's hands and I'm coming in with my cuticle pusher and I'm just gently pushing back the cuticles there. Then I'm gonna come in with a file I'm going to take that shine off I'm just going to take tidy up the free edge while I'm there so see there you want to pull the skin back as well so you can get right down into those nail folds so gently around the cuticle area always pulling that skin back to get right in them nail folds right down into that cuticle area as well no sore filing just one way only and you don't want to cause any friction or anything on that nail plate there um, I don't remove um, any skin with cuticle nipples or anything because I'm not trained to do so um, and I don't feel comfortable with that so um, if there's like a little hangnail or anything, then I will just nip that off. Um, but yeah, no, I don't. I don't cut the skin. So, so yeah, just making sure you get them right in there, right into them nail folds, right down into that cuticle area and across the top of the nail. And then once you think you've done, dust them off and have a look. It, once you've dusted them off, if there's any shiny areas, that means you may have missed them. So now I'm just coming in with my cuticle cleaning bit. I think this one is the Skittles bit. It's from Chrissy Pierce at Nail.Supplies. Um, I just use this on a slow speed. And this bit is so, so fine, you won't do any damage to the nail as well. So real gentle, gentle pressure on there. So I'm just coming in and cleansing the nails afterwards with my CJP Fresh Prep. Just to get all that dust and stuff off. Then I'm going to come in with my tip application. So when you place your tip on, you want to check that it fits side to side. Don't put it on and squash it down. You don't don't make it fit. Um, if it doesn't fit properly, if it's too small, the enhancement will just pop off. So place it on the nail, rock it down, and then hold it in place for a few seconds. And then once that's stuck, I'll come in and press the wings down as well, just with the sides of my nails. Again, checking it from side to side without squashing it down because if you're having to squash it down it means it doesn't fit properly this client of mine in this set she's having a, um, a shorter ballerina style so these pre-pinched almond tips are brilliant for that because you just snip the ends off
Right, so now I'm cutting the lengths. Um, with these CJP pre-pinched almond tips, they do have a spine down the middle of them. So as you can see there, you have to cut one side and then the other. Otherwise, if you try and cut straight across, they will just crack down the middle. So once I've done this, I'm going to then take my file, um, take those sidewalls in a little bit more, and then um, I'm going to just blend those wings in a little bit just so that I've got a nice smooth surface to place my clear layer on. So I'm just going to let you watch this bit and then I'll be back. So once I've finished this now, I'm going to come in and cleanse again with my fresh prep on a lint free pad and then I will add my thin clear layer and then I'm ready to roll. So that's my prep that I do on every client every single time. So here you don't want to be adding any bulk with this uh, clear layer at all, especially if you're going to be working with uh, coloured acrylics. Um, so literally just a thin wettish bead just to protect that nail plate really and something to file back down to when it comes to a redesign. So my lady bought me a picture she found um, on the internet so we're going to recreate that. So on this thumb I come in with um, CJP Cherry Fizz which is a really beautiful uh, pre-mixed glitter acrylic. So it's got like, like reds, purples and silvers in there. All fine glitter, it's really pretty. So you want to work with that fairly wet because there's so much glitter in there, I want to get a nice coverage on there. And then once I'm happy with the coverage that I've got 
on there. I then come in with the Glitter Fairy um, Rainbow Gold Multi Cut just to give it a little bit of something extra. Just a small bead of that because I didn't want it to cover up that cherry. On this index finger it's going to be a full nail of maroon so this is a strength powder so I can just build my whole nail out of this so again place it on at the cuticle tuck it in and then pat and press and pull it down the nail again always as neat as you can so you save your filing afterwards. I think this one is cherry fizz as well. Yeah, this one's a full nail of cherry fizz as well. Um, we couldn't actually see the thumbs on the picture that she brought in, but um, as soon as I used that on her other hand, she said, yep, I want that on my thumbs. So she had two sparkly thumbs as well. So again, just doing the same, placing that until I've got the coverage that I want and then coming in with that glitter fairy rainbow gold shine. you want it all to go dull and matte looking that that way you know that it's all covered then if you look at the nail and there's still shiny bits on it it means that you've missed a bit so just add a bit more because you really don't want to be filing into that glitter I suppose it's all just getting used to um, trying to please the whole audience at the same time. So I should imagine it would take a bit of um, a bit of practice to get things right. So I'm really, really appreciating your feedback as well. So that helps a lot. So on this ring finger, I'm just coming in with a full nail of a more. Um, so and then after once I've filed I'm going to add some angel tape to this and some crystals it's the threat of spring everyone make, wants to feel happy so they want slightly lighter nails if that makes sense I know what I mean <laughs> so on this pinky again full nail of maroon
and if you do get any run into your side walls or cuticle area just get it off straight away there like I did with the, the point of that brush you don't want to leave it there because it will cause lifting and it's also not good for your client's skin so again because that's a strength powder I don't need to cap that one So coming into my filing routine, exactly the same on every single nail. So come underneath, make sure that's coming straight out from the natural nail, side walls, and then gently around your cuticle area. Again, I know it seems like I'm being rough, but we did have to speed this up a little bit, not too much. When you're taking in your sides, keep your file dead flat against the side of them. Obviously, depending what shape you want. Um, if you don't keep it dead flat, your, your edges will start to round, and that um, if that's not what you're looking for, then obviously, you know, it's not going to be good for you. So. I know I'm not 100% in shot, but I actually filmed um, this one myself. My partner usually shouts at me when I'm not in shot, but he wasn't here. So I had to keep checking and do it all myself, like a big girl. <laughs> because I actually recorded myself doing my other hand for you guys on um, Sunday night. And when I came to edit it, uh, every time I wanted to record, I'd press standby and vice versa. So I had a big fat nothing at the end of it. And I was really annoyed because I'd sculpted my wrong hand as well. I mean, come on now. <laughs> but, you know, I learnt my lesson and I think I did all right on this one. So, I mean, it's not perfect. So, yeah, side walls, side walls, free edge and then nice and gently. And then over the body of that nail. All the time checking all your angles from the side down the barrel of the nail, make sure your apex is in there. want to say as of today I've got 831 subscribers I'm like uh, oh my god like that's amazing like I just want to say I really really appreciate every single one of you it means the world to me and if you haven't already subscribed and you're watching please do and um, yeah I, I really just want to keep doing this I'm really really enjoying myself and um, hope you guys are enjoying watching So once I've finished this, I'm going to come in and cleanse the nail again, get rid of all that dust. And then I will be adding striping tape to these ring fingers. Now this one is sticky striping tape. And uh, no, it's not. It's sticky angel paper. That's what I was meant to say. And it's from CJP as well. 
so I've just popped that on you don't want to be touching the stuff on the sticky side with your fingers at all because if you do then it's game over seriously I'd already had a fit doing it before I um, recorded this bit on there um, yeah so once that's on I make sure it's nice and pressed down I'll just use the end of my tweezers for that make sure it's nice and stuck down and then I will top coat this twice making sure that the free edge is capped as well so I'll put um, a layer of top coat on that one cure it for 30 seconds and then top coat all the rest of them again and cure it for 60 seconds and then I add some crystals onto this one which I don't think I've got on camera sorry And I will leave a picture at the end. Thank you so, 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 so much for joining me again today, guys. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.